back at it again. Um, they finally catch up. Well, I think they were. I think they always caught up, but they were just right behind them. But I guess they finally caught up to them. Um, yeah. The, the the prince. Yeah, the basically the prince. Um, Sass. <laughs> pretty much. But uh, yeah. Yeah. They caught up. Um, see what happens now. Let's just, let's just get straight into it. All right, guys. Let's get into it. November 1013。世の大事の息子だ。状況が分かり次第すぐに伝えよ。The uh, legs are crossed. I don't know. The horse is caught it. だ、だ、だ。囲まれてんじゃねえか。マジかよ。ち。俺見たことか。言わんこっちゃない。さあ。落ち着け、やろうぞ。ティアヌス。ウェールズ小国全体の行く末を問っかるあなたを尊敬しているだが我々はあなたとは少し考え方が違うのだ伝の王子とどんな約束を交わすというのだ所詮は満足道理は通じるまだ走らんとええどうせ茶番ですこね
アスカラ。ボセキから6世紀にかけて活躍した。イギリス先住ケルト人国家ブリタニアの軍団葬式館である。516の。新興一時の死殺人時、後のイングランド人の軍勢をベイドンヒルの戦いにおいて打ち破り
I was just way off. So, 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 so that caught me off guard. It's kind of like you know. But I was actually a flashback of basketball. Well, at least, at least, at least, at least he caught the sword. You know, that was on his side. Yeah. You know, so. But the thing about caught me off guard is like, I mean, he look. His face don't look older. I mean, like, Thorfinn's face doesn't look older. Like, or, you know, like if he would have been older, he would have been like a little bit more older, a little bit taller, this and that. I mean, like, yeah. So that that kind that kind of like you know threw me off. Yeah, but um, a little bit, but yeah. Um, Askeladd is something, someone special in a way. Yeah, he's he's a, he's basically like uh, Gracianis was talking. Um, well, basically, whenever Gracianis and um, uh, Askeladd actually went to talk to a sir, a sir, um, you know, basically to like you know have like a negotiation to see like maybe, I mean, if he can help you know help him out you know with fight or fight with them. You know, in the war, right? You know, probably uh, give him supplies, this and that. Um, and then Askelad uh, tells us, sir, like basically, like you know, it's about like his backstory, this and that. That he's not, he, he's not basically like only Dane. He's like a mixture. So he's a mixture of a Welsh and Danes, right? You know, so but for some reason he has an animosity towards the Danes. As you can see, like whenever he was looking down, like you know. But I hate them all. So. Yeah, you know. So, um, I guess there's a grudge. Probably like something that has to do, like probably like something um, happened. I think. I probably, don't know. probably one of the Danes had like killed, you know, like his parents, or probably like. I don't know. Like he didn't mention his dad was um, a Dane, if I remember correctly. But, you know, so. He's a very interesting, complex character. It's like it's like it's like you hate him because he killed um doors, but you kind of like, but it just you kind of interested in him because it's like he's he's like he's he's like a very interesting character. He's like just he's interesting. Like, he's just like there's just, it's like a lot. There's a lot to him. It's like he he has moments. He's, he's not he's not like, he's not like you know how a said said like he's not like a Dane, you know like just don't think they're just brute animals or something. Like. He's, he's not like that. It's like you can see he has. He's intelligent, you know, he's thinking, you know, many steps ahead, you know, before anybody else. Right. You know, and um you can I mean you can you can you can see that you can, you can see that by his right hand man. He's saying like, you know, um when um he trusts him. Yeah, you know, he trusts them and he doesn't really know much about him, but he trusts his, I know, he was kinda of a little pity, I'm being, I'm being on the on the side real quick, you know, it's a little bit of a pity. I thought I thought I knew this guy. You're like yeah. Man, this guy's speaking. This guy's speaking a different language now. Like, yeah, it makes you. It makes, makes you think. <laughs> I've been with this guy for years. We, we, like, we, how much language do you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, when did you learn it? You learned it, bro. Like, Behind my back, but you know what I'm saying? It, it makes you wonder. Dang. And then they see one of the crewmates like, <laughs> are, you, are you a little bit jealous? Are you, are you a little bit jealous? Like, shut your mouth. You want these hands? <laughs> like, just joking, bro. Just joking. You know yeah, but um, that was a good episode, though. Yeah, Wait, yeah. What, what, what was it? Very. Right? Interesting episode. Dorfin was talking to like. Know what happens next? And yeah. Dorfin was talking. <laughs> Major trash. <laughs> he looked at him like this. Just like. All right, princess. Bitch. Relax. All right, princess. Yeah, and and not, and it was pretty. You, you, you can see like something's gonna develop like a little. Yeah, you, between bond, them you know, because like, you know. Yeah. That was um the first time we've ever seen Prince Canute. Yeah, yeah. That reactive. You can see right um. You can see, um, just that's the most, that's, that's the most, that's the most, I'll say action we've ever seen of. Yeah, seen yeah, that's the most him. action, like <laughs> him running his <laughs> mouth. Like that, that's, 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 that's the most action we've ever seen I of him. Uh, I think his name was Ragnar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Peanut guy. Yeah. Cornhead. Cornhead. Um, Cornhead. Okay. Basically, he was like, he was a little shark. I, I was shocked too. I'm like, dang. All right, Canute, I see you <laughs> in action with your mouth. And like, but right now it's like, damn, bro. Like, I thought I was the only person you talk like that. You talk that. You talk to me only, like, you know. But is it? Dang. It, it's also good to know why he wasn't speaking. You know, because he's. At first, you would think he's a coward. Maybe he was. You know, maybe maybe, maybe his past made him yeah. very very weak in a time. Probably he's he's seen, he's seen a lot of stuff as a kid. It's like, like, man, it's kind of like. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's seen a lot, yeah. but then it's. It's kind of good to know that he, he's very cautious, actually. Yeah. Because you know he's a prince, and what he says 
you know, mm-hmm. can be, you know, have an effect. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a friend and his words, you know. I mean, so those have lots of value. And I guess like with Thorfinn, Thorfinn uh, being there, like it really helps, you know, Canute become more well later on throughout the progression, like helps him become more outspoken, you know. Instead of being quiet, this and that, he he's gonna be more outspoken, conveying his thoughts, you know, about what he feels, you know, because as a kid he was like, you know, I, my dad said like told me to, you know, I'm not, I'm not supposed to say anything if, unless I I'm being told to talk about my dad, yeah, stuff I mean, like that, you know. Yeah, because he said um, he, he's not gonna, he's not supposed to, or not allowed, or he's not going to into a non-aggression treaty without the. Without the permission of his father, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, you know, he he um he doesn't. He's not ready to be a king yet. Yeah, basically. I would, I would say. Yeah, I would say. But I mean, still interesting, and I still want to learn more. And of course, I think we're gonna see him progress throughout the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. But uh, man, that was a good ep- that, that that was a good episode though. It was very yeah, very man. interesting. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, follow our Instagram and. Twitter pages, uh, click the bell, get notified immediately, and just thank you if you're watching this. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, guys, call Joe out. out. <laughs>